Okay, so we have two vertices of a square that are 12, 0 and 12, 12. What is the smallest possible area that the square can have? So that means, for example, we could have a vertice here on a Cartesian plane, 12, 0. And then directly above it, we would have 12, 12. Let's say it's up here. Okay, well, what would that mean? Well, we're trying to find the smallest possible area. So the first thing you might think of is that oh, this is a side of a square, and then you imagine that somehow the square uh, goes this way or something, right? There's your square. Let me pick a different color that's not helpful. So if this is a side of a square, that would mean what? Well, that would mean that your area is 144, and each side is 12, right? Because the distance from 12, 0 to 12, 12 is up 12 units. So each side is 12, and the area is 144. But can we get a smaller area? So now reimagine your square, right? But this time, let's imagine that the two points we're given are these two points here. We're still thinking of the same type of square, except we are going to turn this square around a little bit. So now we have these two points, and this distance is 12. So how can we find the area of this shape? Well, it's a square, so we have right triangles here, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem. These two sides, whatever they are, x, they're equal. It's a square. Every side is the same. So now we can use the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus x squared equals our hypotenuse squared, or 12 squared. So let me just turn it back now so that we can write correctly. So here we have x squared plus x squared, using the Pythagorean theorem, equals 12 squared. What's x squared and x squared? Well, that's 2x squared. 12 squared is 144. I can divide both sides by 2 to solve for x squared. right? And we get what? Well, these cancel out, and x squared is equal to 72. So if we try to find each side length, we can then say that, well, that means that x is equal to the square root of 72. And we can simplify that. We can simplify uh, the square root of 72 to, what is that? Well, 9 times 8 is 72. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 times the square root of 8. And then find the area. But if x is the square root of 72, and we can write that here, x is the square root of 72, what's the area of the square? Well, the square root of 72, right, times the square root of 72, doesn't that just equal the square root of 72 squared? In other words, just 72. If you square a square root, it undoes it. So this time, the area is half of what it was before. So here, and that's something to think about in the properties of a square if you uh, use that diagonal length to create the um, side of a square you get an area but then if if that same side length becomes the diagonal of a square you reduce you reduce the area by half which is a wonderful pattern to work with all right thanks